guys welcome back to my channel this video is gonna be my third update for hashtag that's expensive project pan I missed a couple updates I think I missed two maybe one I don't know <laughs> um, it's been a while it's been a while since I updated this project I have been working on some of the products I actually have two empties for today some products I'm gonna go ahead and roll out because I haven't used in the past two months and I'm gonna put some stuff in their place if you're interested in this update please keep on watching if you're new here I do hope you consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it when you're watching it I will have the details of the project the creator is Misty I'll have her channel in the description box and I'll have all the details of all the products that I've been working on and uh, yeah let's just go ahead and get into it um, for me it was kind of like a, a full almost like a full face project pan I uh, started the project with uh, I believe it was like the most expensive items in my collection or just high-end products that are in my collection um, again I will be rolling some products out and we'll talk about those uh, shortly um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the first product in the project which is a primer and for that I've been working on the Smashbox the mindful 5 primer uh, it's a serum like a primer serum I love this stuff I'm really happy to continue working on it I have used it here and there since the last update I've made some progress on it my goal was to hit the bottom black line uh, this black line and I'm on the top one so I'm not that far off um, the project is a full year so hopefully I'll get past that goal before the year ends I'm gonna keep working on it for right now I am at this black uh, line over here I do want to get all the way down here um, hopefully a month two more months and I can meet my goal but again I'm gonna keep working on it even if I meet my goal I'm gonna just keep working on it the second project the second product in this project is my foundation and for that I've been working on the Bobbi Brown skin Longwear weightless foundation SPF 15 I absolutely love this stuff I don't want to use it up because that would mean I would want to repurchase it um, I am wearing it today I try to wear most of the products that I'm that are in the project today on my face so you guys can see what they look like it's beautiful it says it's full cover I don't consider it full coverage I would say medium but you can build it up to full coverage I do like the just like the I, without building it up just one layer of this product I absolutely love it um, I've actually made a really good progress since the beginning of the project um, last update it was 124.77 grams uh, today's 121.44 um, so I made what 3.33 since the last update huh interesting but since the beginning of the project I've used more than eight grams of this stuff so I'm really happy with that um, before I used it today it had settled down and I believe I'm like a little bit below the half line that's where it had settled settled down to but I think it's lower than that anyways we're gonna keep working on this guy it is beautiful I'm happy to keep using it and um, I'm not sick of it yet the third product is a concealer and I am working on the NARS Raging Creamy Concealer. Um, I've made some decent progress on this guy. I This I do really like. Um, I like that I can build it up with one layer, especially if I blend it out with a beauty blender or like a sponge. I don't get the coverage that I really want, but if I put on a second layer and then, you know, like build it up, it builds up really, really nicely. I'm really happy with it and it, it's good for me. It's good for me like shade match and uh, I like it. I am... Uh, today it's 23.56 gram but last update it was 24.17 grams so I've made some progress overall since the beginning of the project I've used 1.2 grams of this guy so not too bad concealers for me I used to go through them really fast but for some reason maybe because I use less now I don't like do those triangles under my eyes I just use the right amount that I really need to get the coverage that I really want um, I don't go through them as fast as I used to but I like the way my makeup looks now so here we go there's this one um let me see how many this is six mils but I don't know how many grams that would be okay next up is a uh, powder i am working on la prairie skin caviar loose powder my goal with this one oh my goal for the nars concealer is to finish it up this year uh, but my goal for this uh la prairie powder was to use 10 grams of it i'm i'm it's going super slow you guys i don't know what's going on um i use it I use it pretty much every time i do my makeup well not every time uh, but i use it a lot 
last update it was 293.74 grams and today it's 292.69 so I used up a little bit over a gram since last update um, but that's like two months uh, when I started the project since the beginning of the project I've used only 3.2 grams of this guy so I have seven grams to go I don't know if I can meet that goal um, unless I start using it all the time but I do really like it um, I do really like it under my eye I do really like it to set all over my face and today I used it kind of to blend out my um, my eyeshadow in uh, you know kind of like in my crease and on the lower line to kind of like clean it up a little bit it's beautiful for that in the same in the inner corner it's really beautiful I do really like the product it just it's going slow and hey I guess that's okay right okay next up is a product that I'm gonna roll out and I'm gonna roll something else in its place um, I have the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray party all night stay all day to be honest I don't wear my makeup all day anymore um, I put on my makeup maybe around 2 in the afternoon um, when I have like a break from work or something I'll put on my makeup and I take it off around 6 7 the latest so I don't wear it all the time and I feel like just using this guy just to use it up in the project it's a little bit of a waste um, I'm currently at this line so I've made some progress since the last update but I don't really reach for it so much I do really like it like if I were to wear my makeup all day long that guy is amazing but for the few hours that I'm wearing my makeup I don't think I need something quite that much um, what I'm gonna go ahead and work on is uh, the cover effects I have to grab it it is cover effects illuminating setting spray I hate the specific bottle itself um, the spritzer doesn't work and there's a lot of shimmer in here so I usually let it settle dump it in another bottle um, I think after I emptied so I want to finish this whole thing I went ahead and emptied it in this little bottle and then I'll keep refilling the bottle until this is gone um, so I filled it up all the way to the top I'm currently at this top black line I do want to finish it I kind of let it settle before I dumped it in here but still some shimmer came through it's okay it's not so bad um, there's a lot in here so it gives that little bit of illumination but not like totally glowy so I'm gonna just keep marked on this bottle and then when this bottle is empty we're gonna go ahead and dump whatever left is in here and then we'll do it that way um, I find that I do like the setting spray part of this guy I just do not like how glittery it is and it, it's pretty old in my collection I do want to finish it and be done with it I think again after I dumped all the amount that was left I'm down here in this bottle maybe I, I can't tell you I have to shine like a light through it and figure that out but that's what we're gonna go ahead and do for that setting spray okay my uh, bronzer and highlighter duo um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out I haven't used it I did not touch it in the past two months at all like not even a single use and that was the Charlotte Tilbury film star bronzing glow face sculpt and highlight paddle palette paddle palette um, the bronzer, I mean, I wore down a little bit of the pattern on it. I definitely have a nice dip in the highlight. I'm going to go ahead and roll it out. I'm not reaching for it. I do want to use some other stuff in my collection. So I'm going to put in its place um, a different bronzer and a different highlight. The bronzer that I'm going to work on is still by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the airbrush bronzer. And I have the shade 2. This guy is massive. It's 16 grams. My goal is not to finish it or anything like that. I just want to make a dent in it. Um, this was pretty pricey. I do really like the bronzer part itself. I am wearing it today. Um, I, I can go... The shade 2 is not super deep. Where I can use it winter time perfectly. And in summertime I can build it up. Uh, I just want to get some more use out of this guy. A lot more use because you know <laughs> I spend my money on it uh, I weighed it today and it was 142.18 grams we're just gonna keep track of it weight wise I would like to make a dent in it um, some sort of dent somewhere so we'll see we'll see how that goes hopefully you know like maybe I won't see too much uh, progress on it but I will see the weight go down hopefully um, and for highlighter, I'm going to go ahead and work on the Tarte Exposed Highlight. And this is uh, like the Amazonian Clay Highlighters. Um, it's one of the older highlighters in my pa in my collection. And with this one, it's not super intense. Like I am wearing it today. Um, 
I can go with it like I it's not like beaming oh my god I went heavy-handed it's pretty um, it has like those micro shimmers they don't stick to the face they kind of like go up in the air when you apply it with the brush um, with this one hopefully hopefully I can hit pan I don't know these are um, the tar products are usually pretty hard to hit pan on but I'm gonna go ahead and work on this one and weight wise this is 22.69 grams today and then we'll keep track of it weight wise okay next is the uh, blush quad that i was working on i was working on um hourglass the ambient lighting blush quad the ghost uh, quad um i wasn't concentrating on a single shade i was just swirling my brush into all of it um i i can tell that i made like a pretty good progress in this one and this one around the corners over here i am not reaching for it honestly i'm just i am i'm really liking uh, a different product and i figured you know what i really like it, it was in my favorites video so i am gonna go ahead and uh, try to make some progress on it maybe i'll finish it in 2021 and that is the melt blush and the shade is honey thief this guy is stunning it does have a little bit of kickback so and i used it today so um, this is what it looks like. I'm wearing it today. Again, it is beautiful. It is a matte blush. It's very neutral. I could wear it with any eyeshadow look that I want to go for. Um, I love the formula. I love the shade. I, I just really, really am enjoying it. I figured I better put it on a project. Uh, this guy today weighs 43.46 grams. And again, we'll keep track of it weight-wise. Um, now the last two products are two products that I actually finished up and I uh, started working on a new product. Um, I had a mascara. I had the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara in here. I finished it about two months ago um, around the end of March. I finished it because it was in my uh, March empties and I started working on Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, this guy I think probably has about a month left in it. Um, I kind of, I, I forget, like I stopped using this for a while and then I got back to it. The first week or two, it kind of sucks. And then when it starts drying out, it's beautiful. Um, so I am using it. That's what I'm wearing today. I, I do really like it. Again, it's like, you know, you rediscovered something. So that's the one I'm working on. And we'll see, maybe next update, it will be a new mascara. I would have to roll this one out because I, I can feel that it's starting to dry out too much. Not in a good way. And then the last product is the lip product. I was working on the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade is Lure. It got to the point where I would pull it out and nothing comes out. Kind of like I would have to scrape it and then I could see like the tube. I tried to take out the stopper and I just failed. It, it was kind of like impossible to take out. Um, so at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and call it empty. I used quite a bit of it. Um, beginning of the project it was 24.32 grams and today it's 23.05 so that's 1.3 something grams there's not much in here to begin with um, and since I have to scrape the sides and I, I just I'm calling it done I'm moving along and I'm putting in a new one um, I'm sticking to the NARS velvet lip glides because I do really like that formula I'm wearing this today this is in the shade district and I don't think this had much use in it to begin with because this weighs 24.60 grams um, where this one when it started the project was 24.32 so it has more product in it but it's okay I do like it I think it's a pretty shade um, you know for the rest of the summer maybe early fall it would be good and the formula is really really nice and comfortable that's it that is my update for hashtag that's expensive project ban i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to go ahead and give it a, a thumbs up i feel like super hyper i think i'm on my fifth cup of coffee today it's been a long day so excuse it <laughs> um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye